We Let out me. here in a game. This the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. It's this the is money the money game. game. But I, I'm we in the money game. And we you cannot sacrifice game. yourself. The we best are. thing you can do for this poor people is not be brother. one of them. You cannot We're in help the money them. Game. Monique, why is she canceled? And then I, I know Tyler wouldn't support that. He never told anybody, nobody not to work with her. When I talked to him, he was like, nah, I, see, I never told no one not to work with her. And I said, but you Tyler Perry, and you never told anyone to work, work with him. Mm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I never looked at it like that. Because I said, you, you just got to consider how, like, how strong your influence is at that point. 50 Cent is coming after Steve Harvey for allowing Oprah to use him to blacklist Taraji after she spoke up on how badly Oprah treated her on the set of The Color Purple. Child, it's a hot mess because Oprah allegedly got mad at Taraji for spreading negativity, which she believes caused the movie to flop at the box office. Now, 50 Cent might be a professional troll, but one thing he's going to do is stand for what is right, and he is not here for Oprah doing the same thing to Taraji that she did to Monica back then and using Steve Harvey to carry out her vendetta. Unfortunately, Oprah's plan to blacklist Taraji might already be working because studios are allegedly pulling Taraji off all her gigs and no one wants to work with her. But it seems like 50 is not playing around because he claims to have receipts about Oprah's sinister agenda that can get her canceled once and for all, and he is not afraid to spill the tea. But is Oprah really trying to ruin Taraji's career for what she said about her during the Color Purple press tour? And did she try to enlist Steve Harvey to carry out her plan? Let's get into it. As a black woman, you know, we do it with so much grace and get paid half the price of what we're worth. And that becomes difficult. And it's a slap in my face when people go, oh, you work all the time. Well, bitch, I have to, because the math ain't mathing. I wish I could do two films a year and relax the rest. I wish I had it like that. So because you see me working so much, I got to, you know, big bills come with this shit we do. Okay, I don't do this alone. It takes a team and they want to get paid for their work as they should. So when you hear somebody making, oh, they made $10 million on this movie. Well, you know, Uncle Sam going to get 50% off the top, right? And then you got to pay 30% or however much you pay your team. So you really haven't made $10 million. So that's why that Benjamin Button story hits so hard, because all I was asking was for 500000 I wasn't trying to take nothing from Brad Pitt or Kate Winslet, uh, Blanchett. They deserve to earn what they get because they work their asses off for it. I so too worked my ass off. <laughs> and at the time, I couldn't say no. I didn't have any power because they would have been like, next. But I saw the bigger picture and I had to check my ego. And it was tough because I had to check it every day on that set. I had to check it because it would rise up in me and I was A few weeks ago, Taraji and Oprah were making the news rounds because of some explosive comments Taraji made during her press tour for The Color Purple. Now, movie press tours are supposed to be for promoting the movie and saying good things about it so people can get psyched to watch it. That's why people felt Taraji was wrong for spilling everything like that because she could have at least waited till the movie broke even before addressing other issues. However, you can't really blame Taraji because it seems like she had so many bottled up emotions from years of being mistreated and lowballed in the industry that when she finally finally had the opportunity to speak her mind, she just couldn't keep it in any longer. It all started with Taraji's SAG-AFTRA interview, where she confessed that she hadn't seen a rise in her paycheck since Proud Mary. If you've watched Proud Mary, then you know how much Taraji ate her role in that movie. That should have opened the door for her to start earning big bucks. In fact, you can point at any role Taraji has ever played and see how that role should have made her one of the top earners in the industry. But Taraji said when she was invited to be cast in The Color Purple, the offer she got was so low it was downright insulting. Black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game, it breaks my heart. It's like every time you achieve something really incredible, it's almost like the industry looks at it as a fluke. Like, ah, oh, that was like some one-time thing. So you fall back to the bottom and you gotta negotiate and fight tooth and nail to get what you made the last time when where's my raise? I haven't had I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. Yes, ma'am. Who said what? 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for Fantasia and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia? Then what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can, we can, and we are. You have to look at, t look at the glass, it's half full. It's always half full. Taraji then talked about how she had to take a stand in issues like this because if actresses in her position didn't speak up, then younger actresses would suffer the same things they had to face in the industry. Taraji's statements opened the floodgates for a much needed conversation about how black women are underpaid and underappreciated in the industry. Even the Viola Davis spoke up about how she was still underpaid despite achieving everything her male and white female colleagues have achieved. What they're 